Hey everybody, how's it going? Boy Scholarship, we here, and welcome back for more Let's Play Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Um, once again, just like the last time I recorded, it's been a long time. Um, I am finally out of my freshman year of college, so now I can hopefully record maybe on a little bit more of a usual basis or when I have time. Um, still gonna be taking some classes this summer and uh, working a lot more and hopefully doing other things, but nonetheless, hopefully I'll be able to still do this because I love recording and talking about stuff while playing some of my favorite games from my childhood. Anyway, last time we did Icy Peak, probably my favorite level in this uh, in this world, and today we're going to be doing probably my favorite out of the speedways in this game, which isn't really saying very much because I really don't care for the speedways in this game. Um, I'm just not a fan of how they are set up, I guess. Um, but that's just me. Um, so we're kind of doing the best of the worst, but it's kind of bad. <laughs> Which challenge would I like to play? We're going to do the usual time attack. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so we're starting out with the rings. But yeah, I'm, I'm sort of trying a new recording setup. It's still the same equipment, um, but I'm recording in a different room. I'm actually in my bedroom now, because all those other times we recorded, it was in the basement. But now that I'm back from college, I have a TV in my room now, which might as well put to use, and I've actually been hanging out in here a lot more, and I, I kind of like it. It's so much brighter, and I don't know. It's kind of relaxing. So, I've been up here, um, hopefully... Maybe the sound quality is a little bit better, less echo, but I have no idea. We'll see what happens. Um, but, <clears throat> yeah, so we'll be trying that, just so you guys are aware. Nothing, no big deal, really, but um, it's kind of nice. Um, and I actually finally got my hands on some audio-video uh, switchers, like those ones where you can plug in four of those RCA cables, and then uh, you just have a switch that flips them all on the go, which is really nice. Because honestly, it, it sucks having to go behind the TV every time and like unplug the yellow, white, and red and plug in different ones. And so I'm really liking that. I got two of them at Best Buy, five bucks each with my discount. So that worked out fantastic. So I'm loving that right now. All right, so we got that complete. Okay. And yeah, I don't care about my time. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Hooray! Now, uh, this is the stage, I believe, where if you leave right now, you won't get the second egg or something, so basically, just as a warning, yeah, yeah, whatever, do all of the eggs here in one go, because I remember this happening to me as a kid, and I got really upset because I couldn't get into the bonus, or the final area. Yeah, I don't care. Couldn't get into the final area because I wasn't able to get both of the, or all three, I guess, of the eggs here for whatever reason. So, just keep that in mind if you're playing. I believe they fixed that in the uh, the Greatest Hits version. Um, so, if you're playing the, the Green Label version of the game, you are um, exempt from that. But just keep that in mind, Black Label people like me who are kind of freaks when it comes to that. I like having Black Labels, I don't know. Because it's just more fun having the original release. And the Green is doesn't look good on a shelf, but whatever. Um, so just keep that in mind if you are playing the uh, black label that um, that is the case for it. So you don't want to miss out on getting 100%. <clears throat> but yeah, this race, it can be a little bit challenging if you don't know what you're doing. I'm not sure if I know what I'm doing. I'd, oh, shoot. I need to pay more attention. <laughs> I'm not good at talking and doing these, so if I say stupid stuff or I don't make sense, forgive me. Um... I believe cut through here. I just might have to cut this and uh, do it a second time, but we'll see. Um, there's just a lot more um, things to screw up on and quite a few more stars in general to go through. Um, but let's see if we can pull this off. Two out of three, okay. Um, they really made these races somewhat challenging, I must say. Um, I think, I don't remember what the, the next few are like if they get much more difficult or but let's see here and we're gonna do this one okay second place we got a whole lap to catch up to the leader except where the heck is he he's really far ahead of him oh jeez 
Where could he be? But, um, I wanted to talk about, now since I, I'm done with my first year of college, I wanted to talk about, or sort of just reflect on it, things I learned, things that I recommend, things I don't recommend, all that kind of stuff. Oh, there he is. Oh, shoot, that didn't even go after me. Crap. <laughs> Um, I'll talk about that as soon as we get through this race here, though, because this might be down to the line. Come on. Oh, no, we got this. Just gonna snipe him. Okay, now we have a chance. We'll just flame him again. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No! Alright, now we got him. We got this! Ugh. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Stop that. Ugh. Oh man, I sound like I'm pooping, probably. Excuse that. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay, yes, I think we got it. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. See what I mean? These races are tougher. Wow, okay. Glad that's over with. <laughs> Alright, and we got Shemp, like Dr. Shemp, maybe from the first Spyro, I don't know. Can't say I've heard that name too often. And we'll just do time attack because we have to go find Hunter, woo, to hunt down some aliens. And I believe he's in this big barn here, or farmhouse, whatever, yep, here we go. What's up, Hunter? Spyro. You're not gonna <clears throat> believe this, but there are sheep saucers and space cows all over this place. Of course. We gotta stop them before they abduct anybody. Oh no. I'm gonna strap on my jetpack and blast some space cows. Yeah! Look out, cows! Here I come! Oh boy. Um, so yeah. This isn't too tough. It might seem difficult, but your shots sort of, um, home in on the, uh... The UFOs and the cows, so if you shoot in their general direction, you will kill them. So, not to worry, my friends, we got this. It, I, I always thought these were much tougher as a kid than what they should have been, because, like I said, you shoot in the general direction and it usually blows them up. It was the same with that, uh, the flying one, the canyon one in Spyro 2. Um, like shooting those, all the, I don't even know what they were, but the blimps and stuff. But I never realized that your shot sort of homed in on the, the targets a little bit, which is nice, because um, it's not an amazing targeting system, especially because you're just moving around, it's not like first person or whatever. But whatever, it works. <coughs> I'm not sure how many there are, but it's not too bad. Come on, there we go. Alright. Okay. I think we're almost done. I wish they had a, uh, like a counter or something where they say how many were left, but that would sort of ruin the excitement, I imagine. Snipe him. Okay. Okay, that guy's far away. There we go. Um. Hmm. Oh, well, well, we did it. We got the last one just before he abducted this oh, egg. Oh, good golly. That could have been bad. Don't want to lose Roberto. Alright, well, he's in a bubble. That's pretty cool. Okay. And... We would like to leave now that we got three out of three. I was just kicking back while you we were doing all that fun. Yeah, that's cool. That's neat, Sparks. Alright, so, Country Speedway is taken care of. Now, the only stage here that we haven't completed is Bamboo Terrace, and that's because we don't have the animal buddy from the third world. So, <clears throat> uh, and there's the secret sparks level, which we can't do till we uh, kill the second boss. So, with that being said, let's uh, head on over here and uh, see what we can do. And I guess they already talked to me. So, we're going to go to Evening Lake. Kind of a funny thing here. There's, you know, like before the first boss and before the next bosses, there's a cutscene showing how the sorceress brings about what we're fighting, but nope, we're just going straight to Spike's arena and there's no cutscene, so this guy has the coolest music, I think, for the bosses. My tactical instincts told me the sorceress would attack you here, so <coughs> I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, <laughs> but I can assist you by dropping ammunition 
Now get in there and fight the good fight. Oh yeah. Love that pep talk. Alright, so fighting Spike. Um it's not a terribly difficult boss, but he's definitely harder than that first green. Oh shoot. Yeah, so just like I was saying. Um Oh jeez. It's like gulp. There's sort of different things that'll drop in that you'll use to Oh shoot. Oh man. I am not warmed up for this boss crap. I'm talking about. I'm not sure if Sergeant Bird ever drops like sheep for you or anything. Dang it. It's just hard to get the angle right before he snipes you. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay. Alright, we got that. Let's see. Oh crap. My bad guys. <laughs> trying not to die here. Okay, now we're warmed up. Now we can destroy him. So he shoots twice. First time around. Then he's wide open. And he'll do that again. Wide open. Oh, crap. Don't let him karate chop you either. That's a stupid way to get hit. Oh. Not that any of ways are good, but... And he can... Oh, shoot. That I jumped over that. Dang it. <laughs> he can, um feel like he can at least jump up and or use his gun on like the things are dropped and use them to shoot you too like gulp how he would eat them sometimes but uh i don't know if he does that as often okay come on there's a chance all right now he's gonna crack the ground and i think some smoke can come up and it can he oh i see these things change height that's why it's tougher to jump over them and i guess i just recommend that you uh don't do that <laughs> Oh shoot, bad idea, bad idea. Okay. Oh wow, level that one actually missed me. <laughs> what the heck? I like deflected his lightning ball thing. What's this? Oh sick, okay. One or two more hits and we should have them. Then I can finally start talking. Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Alright, one more shot. We got him! Die, butthole. Yeah! Got him. And we saved Monique! Oh, I don't know, it's like a French name or something, isn't it? Sounds like it. Whatever. Anyway. So, we killed the mysterious boss that we have no idea what creature turned into it. It's probably a Rhinoc, because everything's a Rhinoc in this game, I guess. But still. Um, I'm not sure if you can, like, hack into the game and get the cutscene, or if they fix that in the Greatest Hits once again. Oh. I don't think I've ever owned the Greatest Hits of this game, so... I've always just just accepted it, so I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up. I'll post it, maybe a subtitle or something. Okay, now we are at the new home world, and we're going to get visited by our BFF bunny friend. Uh, what's her name? Bianca? Listen yeah. to me, Dragon. Spyro. This is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you... <clears throat> believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before... Before... I can't say it! Just go! She's gonna cut off our horns and... Nah, never mind. Anyway, so we're at the third homeworld, Evening Lake. Um, just to go with the other ones, you know, it's always a part of the day and it's... You know, sunrise, spring... Um, Midday Garden, Evening Lake, and I won't reveal the fourth one, just, I don't know, spoilers, I guess, even though it's not that crazy of a spoiler, but anyway, now, I can finally talk, because I don't have to focus nearly as much, um, basically, I sort of just wanted to reflect after, uh, first year of college, um, definitely one of my favorite years of my life, lots of great things happened, lots of challenges, I've met some amazing people, but, um, I've learned a lot of things, too, not just from my classes, which crazy amount of learning done, but um, just about how to approach college, I guess. So if any of you are seniors or I guess not in college yet, but considering going, uh, here's just some things that I learned after the year. Um, the first one is make friends with people in your classes. Um, definitely do that. And know who you can work well with because I mean of course there's some majors or whatever where you uh, don't really have to do a lot of group work but if you're doing engineering or any sort of 
technical, you know, math, science, whatever, I definitely, definitely recommend that you work with other people. Um, it will be so much less depressing if you uh, talk with others and um, make homework buddies, I guess, that's what I'm saying. Um, well, let's talk to Zoe. Hi again, Spyro. This power-up can make you invincible, but only for a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. You'll find an egg when you get past them. All right. That just... Wow, way to spoil it, Zoe. Good grief. But yeah, just like in Spyro 2, there's a shield thing. But let's get this egg here. Stuart Little! Or something. Oh, wow, he's got like a baseball cap. He's ready to party. Anyway. <coughs> um, so yeah, definitely do that. And then, along with that... Um, set your priorities for your classes. Know which ones take a lot easier. Joined forces and started tackling Thermo, which definitely is a recommended thing that you, uh, do it earlier rather than later. Why can't I get up there? I totally... Oh, gosh. I'm stupid. <laughs> totally forgot about this. Um... But, yeah, so know your priorities for that, because it, it can get really, really stressful otherwise. But, and that's sort of what I also want to talk about. There is a way to do college without being majorly stressed out 90% of the time. Hannah, like Hannah Montana, back before Miley Cyrus was all... Bleh. You know what I mean. Everyone knows what I mean. Anyway, um... So, yeah. Honestly, if you like do your stuff early you meet with people and you put in the time it, you don't have to be up till 4 a.m. especially if you're doing engineering you don't have to be up super super late every single night I mean I'm sure it's gonna get tougher as the years go on but it's there's still ways to do it without getting no sleep and, and like I said you just have to be you have to discipline yourself that's the thing but too much discipline also is not a good thing either, and that's what I did, and I regret it very, very much um, during a lot of the second semester. First semester, I I was able to have some fun, get to meet some people. You know, I met uh, who's one of my roommates next year is going to be, and we got to hang out a lot. So, um, having too much discipline can be a bad thing as well. But let's get this egg. Stuby, what? <laughs> Stuby. I have never heard that name before. <clears throat> right, 76 eggs, holy cow. Anyway, um... Oh yeah, here's another fun way to get an egg. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that if you haven't played this before. And Jonah, what an appropriate name. If you don't know who Jonah is, go read the Bible. Um, that's a very appropriate name for a dragon within a whale. And he'll kick us out. Gross. Okay, and I don't believe that he will eat you again because there's nothing to get in him anymore. So, that was just a once in a lifetime experience right there, or once in a file experience. Um, anyway, so yeah, too much discipline can not be good, and I regret it so much, but the second semester, it was definitely tougher. Um, I was taking three technical classes, Engineering, Physics 1, Calculus 2, and Thermodynamics, which was the big boss that really took up a lot of time but my day was basically homework 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 and when I wasn't doing that I was just chilling in my room doing stupid stuff and I really wish I got to know some of the people in my engineering group on a more personal level I guess because um, I started doing that in the last three weeks and I was just a much happier person after doing that getting to know people um, you know, just hanging out with them and up in the student center, not just sitting in my room trying to separate myself from people. And I don't know, I just really regret it because I met some amazing people and one particular person that I really wish I got to know earlier in the year and now I'm paying the price for that. So that really sucks. So don't have too much discipline and don't separate yourself from fun, even if you're doing a really difficult major and a really busy one. If you put the time in for your homework, definitely try to put the time in to get to know people and I'm not a social person at all I I love being by myself sometimes you know absolutely but it's also fun to spend time with people even one-on-one -on -one or you know two or three people together it's oh man I don't know I just really regret 
um, some of the choices I made uh, this year. So definitely take that into consideration. Um, don't just hang out with people to do homework. Get to know people and you can really develop some amazing relationships. So I'm not going to go into detail or whatever, but definitely consider that when you're uh, when you've got a, a busy major. Um, <clears throat> and I guess the other thing is have fun too. I mean, I don't mean go to college just to party and to waste your parents' money or your money, what whoever is paying, but have some fun too. It, it's going to be tough, it's going to be busy, but it doesn't mean that you can't have fun either. Um, oh yeah, there it is. Got that. And I think, I'm not sure how, okay, well perfect, we got it. Now we just have to go and purchase the third animal buddy. I know it's weird saying purchase him, but uh, I guess that's what it is. So we're going to go up here and let's talk to Moneybags. <laughs> the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Oh, of course not. <laughs> no deal, dirtbag. Now we'll pay a thousand. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? <laughs> uh, is it? Gosh. Oh, whoops. All right. A dupless uh, large seat. I don't. Whatever. <laughs> I don't. <know. laughs> ah, the first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now hold on! <clears throat> One more, perhaps? At least. <laughs> Dang. Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Dang, that guy has quite the vocabulary. I don't. I like using simple words and words that everyone understands. But it does make you sound smart. But anyway, um, let's see, did we get all the eggs? Because I'm pretty sure that the level is now complete. Let's see what it says. There we go, level complete. Fan freaking tastic. And I'm not sure why I just left there because that is probably yeah, that's definitely gonna be the, the next level we do. Because we're gonna be doing Bentley's outpost, and then by doing that we'll unlock Bentley and we'll be able to go back to world two, um, clean up Bamboo Terrace as well as do the Sparks World in the next episode. Um Bentley's outpost isn't a very long level, so we'll probably have time to do that. Plus uh, do the cleanup and maybe even the sparks world too. I'm not sure. Um, I'll check it out and we'll see. But anyway, guys, it has been great to be recording again and maybe giving a little bit of advice. Um, but uh, I hope you all enjoyed and uh, I guess until next time, guys, keep gaming and peace out. We'll see you later. <laughs>